I was just shooting something today and I needed to get quite a bit of reach, so quite a bit of zoom on um, on the Sony Z90. And uh, so I kind of look, was looking into the options to do that. And so there are two options to do that on the uh, Z90. There's a digital extender and there's a clear image zoom. And it just made me sort of wonder which was the best. And so I grabbed the camera then and started playing around and not doing, not I didn't do what I was supposed to be doing. And ended up in the kitchen, which is where I always shoot all random bits and pieces uh, when I want to test something. And I ended up with these two images. Uh, so the first point and the main point of this video is to sh show you the difference between the two. So I've got two images here, two clips side by side, and one of them is clear image and one of them is digital extender. I've tried to zoom them into exactly the same amount and I've focused them both properly, but just take a look at the, both of them. I'll show you them um, in, prop, in the original resolution first, so I won't zoom in at all. There's one and there's the other. Can you tell the difference between the two? So I'll zoom in on my screen capture software now and you can take a look and see whether you can tell the difference. So there's the first one. And there's the second one. So I didn't really want to zoom in on the screen capture software because then I'm obviously using the screen capture software interpolation and all that sort of stuff to um, get the image. But yeah, quite a difference from what I see. Uh, what I will do now is zoom in in DaVinci itself. So let's just go back to the original image and I'll just zoom in on this area here and you can take a look at it. This is actually just a, a gas hob. So really not interesting. Yes, as I say, the kitchen. And the, this is one and this is the other. This is one and this is the other. Look at the difference in detail there. Let's zoom in even further there. There's the first and there's the second. So we're not talking about a focus issue. I know some of you may be thinking, oh, well, they probably just weren't focused quite right. Not at all. This is digital extender and this is clear image. So from this initial test, and it is just a very simple test. I haven't double checked this. I haven't tried it on anything else. From this simple test, clear image is pretty bad, really, compared to digital extender. There we go, there's clear image and there's digital extender. So as you can see, the image is pretty much identical. But it, it, I mean, you would never use an image that zoomed in, but even from this sort of distance, you can really see the difference there in detail between the two. Anyway, if you think about it, it sort of makes sense. So if we think about how the Z90 um, is done and how the Sony sensors are done. In fact, lots of video sensors are done. So if we just picture the effective megapixels on the Sony Z90, it has 14.2 effective megapixels, which I, as far as I know, assuming a, an aspect ratio of 16.9, would give it a resolution of 5,024 by 2,826 pixels. So if we put that on the screen now, there's the sensor by itself. So let's now overlay the two main resolutions. So we've got our 4K or UHD resolution at 3840 by 2160. And then over the top of that, we'll put our HD. Digital extender only works in HD. And so here's our HD portion at 1920 by 1080. So even at 4K, you can see we've got a lot of room around the side to do oversampling essentially and reduction, which is why you get a really nice image quality out of these cameras. They oversample, they reduce the size of the image and you get that really nice image quality. What I'm not certain on is whether clear image, because you can use clear image in 4K, uh, I don't think to quite the same extent. What I'm not sure is whether clear image uses any of this extra space here around the side of the sensor in 4K to then say, right, okay, we're, we're not going to oversample and reduce anymore. We're just going to zoom instead. So uh, I don't think that would cater for the full amount of zoom that it's capable of, but I'm wondering whether it's a combination of some um, interpolation, some random Sony interpolation, which I think at the time they first released Clear Image, the marketing bollocks that went around it made out that this Clear Image zoom was some sort of data recognition thing and AI stuff going on. I think that's complete bullshit, to be perfectly honest. It is just interpolation. It's just looking at pixels next to each other and making stuff up in a really, maybe a slightly cleverer way. But if you also have extra data on the sensor, so you're this big portion around here, you can use some of that too, right? Digital, digital extender, on the other hand, well, 
theoretically, if we're talking about center scan, which I think they're the one and the same thing, center scan just takes this portion of the sensor, and then if you put an image, if we put an image behind that now, and then just look at that portion of the sensor, well, of course, we are naturally zoomed in on that image. But if you consider that this is 14.2 megapixels, or we're going from, it, it, this would be more than a 200% increase, more than a times two zoom. So I'm not sure then whether digital extender just zooms to uh, like an area around the full HD frame, so slightly larger than the full HD frame, and then still uses oversampling and image size reduction. So it could say zoom in, uh, the digital ex extender could just take the um, sensor data from this portion of the image and then still have this bit to play with in order to reduce the image size down to the full HD final image. Hence why you still get that lovely, crisp, sharp image when using Digital Extender. I don't know. I'm not an engineer for Sony, and I don't really <laughs> understand the ins and outs of this. Uh, that's not what this video about is about. I just saw these two clips and was quite shocked at the difference between them. So I thought I'd just put a video out there and um, show you the difference between them, which is why I did it first there. So I uh, hope that is interesting to you. And if you know more about this, if you know how these work and you've got more detail on this, please do let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.